Hello developers, welcome to Ivy Mesa, your favorite channel. This is your number one channel to learn how to grow to become a developer. So they were doing a beginner's guide on on React using Vite. So there's if if you are if you are new to if you are new to coding and you don't know how to create a basic app, just go just follow just follow along inside my playlist. You find how to create a simple React app very fast using using is using vid so i've gone ahead and i've created a basic app so we are, so we are coding right from the from from the basic app so don't forget to like and subscribe my videos m run f now we need to go to our development server as you can see our server is at local host 5173 Yes, you can see this is all our development server that we have got. We have successfully set up React using Fight. We can clear the retaining statement from line 9, this one, line 10, this one, and inside our application, we are going to create a components folder, source, make a new folder, and call it components. Then inside the component, I'm going to create a JSX file called hero. JSX. Now, after creating a hero JSX file, let me create a function choosing shortcut IAFCE. So now inside my file, I'm going to import. I'm going to import the hero the your component okay we have successfully installed we have done imported our hero section now we're going to start this hero but remember we can use plain css or tailwind css or start component it's all the same but today we're going to use style components so i'm going to say new terminal now we're going to install style components using npm install style components so if i come into the browser i can see that i've got this zero session which is displaying show that i have successfully imported my 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 hero section now i want to to import style components from styled from style components on line 3 as you can see now i want to change the div to to make it a container so now we're going to style using our style components if i say const style container equals to okay then i put some big ticks there so what we are going to do is that we want to test our code to see that if our start is working so let me say if i do this i'll come inside the browser and we check you can see we have occupied this so that means our start components are working okay so now the hero component i'm going to say i'm going to have another new component which i'm going to call navbar so there we are let's see if nav navpad.jsx so you you come in here and you say let's create a function sticky so let's import our hero components On top of the error section, I'm going to call it nav navbar like this. Let's come and check the progress. It's again see we have got deported the nav bar, so this is where we are going to have our our menu top menu so now let's go inside the browser we go into the nav bar so inside the nav bar 
okay we want our our top nav bar to look like this one so inside let's come inside our coding so make sure that you have imported start from start components on line 7 and also inside your index stm css file make sure that you have got this font awesome that i've pasted and also some root files and make sure that you have styled everything to font family margin padding box sizing border border text decoration text transform then transition then also style all the html once you are done with this one let's come we come inside here and we are going to be styling first of all i'm going to add a logo so that that is coffee then after that one, i'm going to create a listing another listing with list title list then let's add a list items and you add another one then you add fourth one and the last fifth one so let me just paste some text this one is for home this one is for about this one is for menu this one is for review then this one is for book then after selling that one, i'll add a button with with close then i'll add this is a book a table let me come and check a look how everything looks like you can see that it's not visible because this the, i need to do some styling to make it more visible so Okay, then on top of our style let's add a cons for a section then this one will be a div then i'll set a percent fixed top zero left zero then right zero display flexi then i align item center just five space between then z in this 1000 make sure that it appears above everything then a background color of white then a box shadow in the padding of 0 0.5 and let's come inside Oh, but it's not yet visible because we have to change the color of the text so the color of the text then let's have a const logo for hyperlink let's have a set color of main main color then font size if i come then let's set let's say display flexi for another listings then let's say for the listings let's have a display of one okay let me come for listings we say display flexed and padding of zero and one then let's let's style the button margin top zero display in land box border variable in the color of main color background none case a pointer let me come and look at they can see but i also want to have a over effect then let's say the hair of our background color and an active color they come and check a look inside they can see so this was it for the nav bar you can see on over so this one now let's start the home section so here i am inside my app my hero my hero, my hero component so if you come down and you take a look okay i need to change the color to black so we are going to first of all we are going to most importantly create a home closing opening and closing checks then i'm going to add a row opening and closing checks in a row then i'm going to add an inner content closing and opening checks then i'll add a title with H, with this one's are s3 text so now i'm adding a button then i'll add an image div inside the image div i'll add some closing opening and closing of log home then let's have an image slider div then inside we give an image then we gonna have some image listings then let's say yeah image listings so i'm not going to start but before i go there let me just take a look it's not visible yet because we need to set the color so let me have section i'm selling the top section this one and let's have a color of black and we come inside okay let's style let's have a home section i'll set a margin of top 10 imagine auto size then now we have a width of 80 percent and painting of 10, 10 pixels all over then i have a constant row d if we are selling this one okay then let's have 
50, left of 50% display flex and align item to the center gap of 100 mm. Let's, let's style the content div this one this div that's what one we are styling let's give it a color of black and so if i come inside i'm not styling the s3 text these ones i'll call them the s3 text let's give them a, a font size of two rims and font weight of older then a color of main main variable color main variable then text transform uppercase then let's say style the button this one we we'll, we'll call them is called constant button we we'll style the button it's a button text let's say margin display in line blocks like padding of 0.9 1.5 put a variable then it's just the similar styling as we as we've done to this one to this div they are all similar in nature so let's let we also give them over effect then let's tell the image div image img this one this one one that we are telling which will wrap up our image i'm giving a color of black then a flex of one one forty two rams then painting top 10 rams a text align center then let's tell the log home this one this inner image with image tags i'll give it a color of black height 20 rams animation of float 24 linear infinite then let's keep, let's have some keyframes float of transform or zero and transform on y axis this will make this will make it up and down from 0 50 and 100 percent then let's have an image slider div which will give it a padding of three and zero rams then display flexi width of 50 percent then we slide we, we also st style the image listings these ones that we have got here then let's give them a height of five frames case of pointer margin top four half frames then display block and margin left to 12, 12 frames and width of 40 percent then let's have a over effect they can see we have got the images going up and down then if you look at these image listings you can see that they are now going so this was it for the challenge don't forget to subscribe and like my videos thank you